Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Fotens back here with another Escape from Tarkov video. Today, we're we'll be taking a look at one of my personal favorites in the game, the 7.62x51 MDR. We're going to be talking about how to mod this thing, how to use it, what ammo to use, and how to most effectively use this weapon to survive in our raids. Now, this gun does cost a lot for just building it and the ammo itself, so this is not going to be targeted towards beginner players. The good news about the MDR is even though it does cost a lot to mod out because of how the Bitcoin inflation has worked, it is a little bit cheaper if you're having your Bitcoin farms up and running. It will be more easily accessible for more people. That's why this isn't really targeted towards beginner players. It's more targeted towards the people who have made a little bit of money and are looking to find some guns to survive raids with. The great thing about the MDR is it shoots some great bullets. It's fully automatic and you can mod it out really easily. I'm about to show you guys how to do that. All right, here we have my DT MDR 7.62x51. As you guys can see, I've put, um, I haven't really begun modding it and I'm going to show you guys the important parts to modding it. The scope is completely preference, like I say in all my guide videos. You can put on just about anything you want. I've uh, learned that the Vortex site and the Voodoo that right here have worked great for me. Um, if you guys like the PKO6 or the EOTex, you guys could use those too. Those are also really good sites. Uh, just to show you guys, this Vortex Razor AMG UH1 holographic site, it is a pretty decent site. And the Voodoo, you're going to need to put a mount on and then put the actual Voodoo site on. But let's talk about foregrips and compensators because with this gun the only two things you really can mod out for the recoil is the foregrip and the compensator for the compensator i went with the atlas 7 uh comp muzzle brake odin works atlas 7 762 by 51 for ar10 the reason why is because it's cheap off the flea market and it is the second best compensator in the game for the 762 by 51 mdr the best would be the Lantac Dragon, which is only accessible through higher traders, and it does cost a little bit more than that, the 7, and it's a 14 to 15% recoil reduction, so it's not really a huge difference. It's only that 1%, so that's why I've stuck with the Atlas 7. Um, if we go onto the flea market and we see how much the Atlas 7 actually costs, filter by item, we see off the flea market somebody's selling it for 6.8k right now. And it's going around the 7 to 8k mark so it's pretty cheap um, for 14 percent recoil reduction and a little bit of accuracy it's definitely worth it all right so the question stands how do we uh put a foregrip on this thing so the good thing about the dtmdr is it does come with a rail and you could be putting some of these magpul grips on now these magpul grips are not the best um but in case of like you know money wise they're not that bad compared to some of the rk series foregrips if you guys want, you could put the 4.1 inch guide and put an RK2 on, but this is only if you have, like, I think it's mechanic level 4. It has the best recoil reduction in the game. It does take a hit on the Ergo, but it is the best recoil reduction. For most people, I would recommend using the mag pulls, but we're going to be needing to buy these things from traders only. Um, if you guys don't have the necessary traders for this, I recommend buying the mag pull M Lock 4.1 inch guide and then throwing on an RK0 or RK5 from the flea market. Um, RK5 would be my personal favorite because it's a little cheaper than the RK0 with better ergo. But if you don't have the traders for it, you could use the RK0. And I'll show that off right now. If we take this and go to owner type traders and filter this by item, we see that it goes for 14k. So it's not that bad for a foregrip. Um, you guys can scoop it up. It does take the recoil down just a little bit. All right, so the last thing that brings us to is the ammo and magazines. So the magazines, you could be using either the PMAG or the KAS, KAC Steel. Um, these are the only 20 rounders for the MDR. There is 10 rounders, but don't recommend using that. You want to be using the 20 rounders. And we'll be talking about the 20 rounders in a second. These do cost a lot from the flea market. They're around 30 to 40K. But if you have the traders for it, it's really cheap, around 3K in dollars from rubles. If you don't have the necessary traders for this build, it can get a little pricey. But if you do have the necessary traders, I'm going to show off that it can be a pretty decent build for the price. Um, we take off all the items that we get with the gun. And as you guys can see, it does sit above the 180k mark around 200k. So it does sometimes get a little bit cheaper because the MDR right now is going for a lot more. Um, the MDR does come with the magazine inside if you buy it from the right flea market. So be sure to buy it from the right person. So you get that um, extra mag with a little bit of ammo inside. And now to talk about ammo, what ammo should we be using? So the great thing about the MDR is it takes a great caliber that has some like really great options. Um, the three main options you're going to be wanting to stick into is the M80s, the M61s, and the M62s. Now, these do sometimes cost a lot, especially the M61s. Um, the M80s are a little bit more affordable, and the M62s are a little bit in the, you know, between. 
the m62s um from traders they do go for six dollars each you know it's not that much if you want to buy 100 rounds that's like five clips it can sit like at the 60k mark in rubles wise so it's not that bad definitely worth it for 100 shots um however if you want something a little bit cheaper the m80s are a great choice because they do cost significantly less at like 30k for 100 shots so even from the flea market they are cheaper like half the price um the main difference between the two is that the m80s will pen level four really easily the m62s are a little bit better at level five pens but if you're putting enough shots downrange the m80s won't have an issue penning and that brings us to the last option which are the m61 bullets which are the best um ammo in the game for this gun and the reason why is it can two shot any armor in the game um to the chest and it can one shot any helmet to the game um you know to the head obviously so as you can see here you can buy these from peacekeeper you can only buy 80 at a time and it's like 90k nearly um in rubles if you want to buy it from the flea market it does cost a lot if you want to buy just like two clips it's like 80k so pick around with the ammo choose what you like best i would recommend using m62s those are one of my favorite rounds to use but if you don't have the traders m80s are always a great option now i know what you guys are thinking 91 recoil for a gun that's worth 200k that's probably not worth it right so the main objection i have to this is because the ammo is so powerful you're not really going to be needing to hit that many shots down range and you can be killing your enemies really easily i'm gonna show off the recoil in a second all right now to demonstrate the recoil and this is the mdr with the 91 vertical recoil so as you guys can see it does jump around a little bit indoors it can get a little bit foggy but most shots were down range on target so if you're going to be fighting close quarters to medium range this gun is definitely the build for you all right thank you guys for watching i hope i taught you guys a little bit something about the mdr that you didn't already know hopefully you guys can use this build in your games because it's definitely a solid option and i'll see you guys in the next one have a blessed day and peace out